JavaScript that was created in 1995 in just 10 days, and it be the soul of the web. About 97% of websites use it, whether you're browsing on your phone or your computer. To working quietly behind the scenes, it started out as a little helper to make buttons, can dial and images switch smoothly, but now it powers servers, apps, and even IoT devices. You can really escape JavaScript, kind of like you can escape air. TypeScript TypeScript is basically a supercharged version of JavaScript. It was created by Microsoft to help developers lose a little less hair. With static type checking, it is safer and a much better fit for building large-scale projects. HTML. HTML is the backbone of any web shade. Think of it as the construction worker that builds the structure of a site. You use it to place text, images, videos, tables. Kind of like stacking bricks to build a house. Without HTML, there is nothing to see on a web page. It is so simple you can write your first page in minutes. But the more you use it, the more you realize the magic is in the details. Sass's ass if XTML is the skeleton of a web page. CSS is what gives it style and personality. It in like the page in fashion designer, choosing the colors, font, layout, rounded corners, shadows, and more. Without CSS, your page would just be boring black and white text, but with just a few lines of CSS, your site can go from plain to polished in no time. PHP. PHP was born in 1994, created by Erasmus Leerdorf. He just wanted to track how many people were visiting his online resume, but accidentally created a monster. People love to make fun of PHP, but over 80% of websites have used it on the vector at some point, including giants like Facebook and early Yahoo. It is simple, fast, and practical, sure. It's not the coolest kid on the block, but PHP is that reliable old friend who keeps working hard while you're asleep. Python. Python was created in 1991, and it basically the bit and first love of programmers around the world. Simple, elegant, even a little artsy. It powers AI, data science, web scraping, backyard development. You name it. Beginners can write a big hello world in two minutes, but if you're building something big, you'll need to learn how to handle its almost too much freedom. Java. Java was born in 1995 with the slogan, write once, run anywhere. But in reality, well, you'll still spend time setting up the environment. Programmers know the pain. Its biggest feature is the Gemyam, the Java virtual machine, and you'll find Java everywhere. Mobile apps, banking systems, enterprise software, itchy like the invisible glue holding the tech world together. C Sharp. King Sharp is Microsoft's own creation, born in 2000 and built for the Net platform. It powers tons of enterprise backends and game engines. Yep, Unity runs on C Sharp. Think of it as a mix of purple sauce and Java, but with less headache and a bit more comfort. And hey, if you dream of working at Microsoft, learning C Sharp is definitely a smart move. Go, Go, also called Golong, was created at Google in 2009. It's known for its simplicity and clean design, its biggest selling point concurrency. Imagine writing a program that can do a bunch of things at once. Somehow it does not fall apart the downside. Goa error handling feels like ancient if datements passed down to generations and after a while you secretly start missing. Try catch. And good luck Googling Go. That name will drive you crazy in search results. Rust. Rust has become a superstar in the programming world, often called the Borden. Purples. It looks like scene runs just as fast, but it Rust's main selling point is memory safety. You simply can't write wild pointers or leak memory, no matter how hard you try. It also has excellent multi-threading support to catch. Learning Rust means you spend plenty of time locked in a battle of wits with the compiler. C Purples. C is the original hardcore player of the programming world, operating systems, drivers, embedded systems, compilers. None of these would run without C. Purposels builds on top of C by adding things like templates and object generate. It is insanely powerful, and just as insanely complex, scaring off more than a few developers. Writing C or Turpolases is like extreme sports. The performance is top notch. But one wrong move, and you got a memory explosion on your hands, the kind that keeps you up all night chasing down bugs. It did a language for those brave enough to seek ultimate performance and hardware level optimization. R is the go-to language for statisticians and data analysts, whether it data, analysis, visualization, or statistical modeling. Ron got you covered. It died a longtime friend of data scientists everywhere, with a rich ecosystem of statistical packages and visualization tools like ggplot. Two, you can create charts that are both professional and visually stunning. The syntax might feel a bit quirky, but R remains a solid staple in academia, finance, and medical statistics. 
SQL, SQL, short for structured query language, is the universal language of the database world. It lets you query, update, insert, and delete data stored in database. Almost every programmer knows at least some SQL because data is where the real action happens, whether it dim powery, website backends, business reports, or big data platform. SQL is the face of data everywhere. Swift. Swift is Apple's own programming language designed for building ALS and macOS apps. It features modern syntax, strong safety, and blazing speed. Swift has gradually replaced the older, more cumbersome objective, freeing Apple developers from a lot of headaches. Want to develop iPhone apps? Swift is the go-to standard. Kotlin. Kant is Java, close cousin and the official language recommended by Google for Android development. It's an concise, modern, and null safe, meaning no more worrying about your app crashing right after launch. It's in fully integrable with Java, making it easy to mix into existing projects. Many new Android apps start with KingCon simply because it's just more enjoyable to write. Scala. Scala, short for Boostscalable Lenko, runs on the GemM and is a strongly typed language. It combines object and a beta and functional programming styles, making it a perfect fit for big data and distributed computing. If you use Apache Spark, you're already running Scala under the hood. Its syntax can be a bit mind-bending, but the power it offers is huge. MATLAB. MADBA is the trusted toolbox for engineers and scientists, especially strong in matrix operations, signal processing, control systems, and simulation modeling. It remains widely used in industry and research. Ruby. Ruby is an interpreted, dynamically typed programming language released in 1995. Its core features include everything is an object and module mixin. Ruby is best known for powering the web framework Ruby on Rails, which fueled the early internet startup boom. While its popularity has declined in new projects, Ruby still runs behind many legacy websites and scripting tools today. Perl. Per Perl is one of the veteran scripting languages, especially great at text processing, small utilities, and automation scripts. It used to be very popular in system administration and web shichai scripting. People joke that Per Perl is fun to write but hard to read. While it is less trendy nowadays, Per Perl still quietly shines in legacy systems in some niche areas.